The next thing I would like to touch upon is uh, your other hobbies. I've seen that you've been a urban explorer. So I just want to ask you, how, how does it feel to be on top of a crane? Um, how, how did that develop for you? And somewhere along the line, is that something that you will still try and create in terms of imagery? Because I know up there you get a completely you know, unique perspective. And that, and that is something I also often thought about when I was still living in in urbanized uh, Zurich. So yeah, how, how did all that uh, happen? Yeah, man, um, it was actually my, that's sort of how I discovered my love for photography. So in college, I read this article, I forget where it was from, but it talked about these urban explorers who climbed skyscrapers and took these images. And I just, I thought it was so cool. Um, and then kind of forgot about it for a while. And then when I moved later to New York for work, um, one day I was walking by this, this high rise construction site near where I lived and the, there was nobody there and the crane was, uh, was open. So usually it's guarded, but the crane was open, uh, from street level. So you could enter the ladder and climb all 60, 70 stories up to the top. So that day I was like, all right, I got nothing to do. So I went back to my apartment, grabbed my GoPro, uh, and, and kind of changed into more climbing gear and, uh, climbed, climbed those 60, 70 stories of crane ladder. And I will say that first experience, I mean, A, it's incredibly difficult climbing vertical ladders, uh, 70 stories. You know, you it didn't seem like it would be, but I mean, I had to stop every 10 floors and just catch my breath for a few minutes. Uh, and then getting to the yeah, top. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, it's difficult. And then getting to the top, I was, I was so scared, you know? Because um, at the very tip top of the crane, all of a sudden the guardrails around you when you're climbing are gone. And you have this like tiny ladder that's uh, not even as wide as you are, just to get to the very top and you're fully exposed 360 degrees around you to the city. Um, that said though, when I got to the top and secured myself, caught my breath, I mean, nothing beats beats the the, the way it looks, right? So anytime you, you go to a viewpoint or whatever, you can sort of see, you know, some some measure of what's in front of you. But when you're on this, this point of the crane with nothing around you, you have this unobstructed 360 degree view of the city um, along with the wind, and the lights and I just there's, there's no feeling like it. Um, so yeah, that's actually after that moment, I, I bought a DSLR, my first DSLR. Um, I, I started connecting with other urban explorers uh, on Instagram. Um, and from there, you know, they, they showed us some, showed me some of the underground tunnels. Uh, and I, I took them to some rooftops uh, that I found. Um, we would kind of go at like 2, 3 a.m. when everyone was gone. Um, and then, you know, cl make our climb, uh, get in position for, for sunrise, uh, take our shots around sunrise and then get out of there before the workday starts. Um, yeah, so it was, it was a great time in my life. I wish I, you know, I, I'm sort of, it's no longer something that I'm doing. Uh, I would say, uh, it was what had happened was, I think as I, I was arrested on the, on a construction crane, uh, in New York. And that's sort of what, what stopped me. Um, I was on the front of a crane. I started getting bold. And this one, it was mid Sunday afternoon. I decided, whatever, let me just go watch the sunset up there. Uh, so I was over there and then some guy uh, with a telescope, uh, I guess, saw me climbing on the front of this crane and called in the police. And they sent a little helicopter over to make sure I wasn't a terrorist. And then they sent a squad up to, to come get me. And so after that whole incident, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't charged or anything at the end. So, but, but after that incident, I was like, it maybe isn't worth the, the legal risk to keep doing this uh, and you know, Found my way to wildlife. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, overall, it was incredible. Wow.